Hi, I'm Amelia Tamayo. Tomorrow is National Yarn Day. Nice. In other news... Northampton is a vibrant community where many different faiths coexist. This week, I sat down with leaders of some of our religious groups in the area to learn about how their congregations have positively affected our community in these tumultuous times. Abundance Farm uh, was started about six years ago, and uh, the genesis of it is that the synagogue purchased land that is now Abundance Farm from the city about 15 years ago, and the other side of Abundance Farm is a Department of Public Works building. Congregation B'nai Israel has a very active social justice um, uh, committee and it's a very active social justice community. Um, uh, the other rabbi, Rabbi Justin David, who's the spiritual leader here, is, um, is a nationally kind of national leader in the Jewish community around social justice. He's been arrested twice you know, within the lot, you know, since the election, protesting uh, immigration. First of all, our youth group is youth-led. So basically the foundation of how the youth group works is that the youth are learning how to be leaders. Um, and I think that that's a really important way for them to get involved in social justice because they're realizing that they can really lead. Um, and they have initiated on their own a racial justice project. So they've brought in a consultant to talk to them about racial justice and look at the systems within their youth group and then within the church at large to see how they can improve um, the ways they're looking at white supremacy and inclusion and things like that. The first thing that comes to mind is that we have somebody living in sanctuary right now. Um, so it's somebody who is facing deportation. She actually, she's the mother of three kids. Um, so we've brought her in to be safe um, here, right in Northampton. And it, there's a lot of people in the community, whether it's Northampton or East Hampton or Deerfield, who've gotten involved to help out. So people bring meals to her or um, just volunteer to be in the church to help out. Um, so that's been a really neat way for different people to come together and get to help out and also to learn about what sanctuary is and learn about what's happening with immigration. Thanks for watching and congratulations to all the students who took standardized tests this week. Bye!